Well, news of the crash is spreading fast, and neighbors surrounding Fairchild having a tough time tonight dealing uh, with this and coming to grips with the loss. KXY 4's Annie Bishop is live with more on that. Annie. Well, Fairchild is such a big part of Airway Heights, the community, and really the entire region. So when something happens at Fairchild or to one of the airmen and women, it certainly affects everybody in the region. Now, just down the street, you'll find On Alert Caffeine Station. Two thirds of the customers there are airmen, airwomen, and their families. Sierra Shrek is a barista there. She's worked there for several years. She says her boyfriend's best friend right now stationed in Kyrgyzstan. She says they've been anxiously waiting all day to hear from him. What if it was his friend? Because I know his friend. Like, we went to his going away party right before he got deployed. And yeah, it's pretty sad and scary. And I feel bad for his girlfriend just because she doesn't know either. And one potential reason they haven't heard from him yet is typically there is a media blackout when a fatal crash like this happens on the base. So information isn't inadvertently leaked um, through the Internet online on Facebook, Facebook or Twitter. Typically, of course, um, officials notifying next to Ken before that information is um, released. We also stopped by the VFW here in Airway Heights, spoke to a couple veterans there who serve time here at Fairchild, a very somber incident inside um, the VFW today. They did not want to go on camera, but they reiterated what I had said at the beginning of the story that really what happens here affects veterans everywhere. Reporting live at Fairchild, Annie Bishop, KXLY4 HD News. It certainly does. Thanks so much, Annie.